Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios, and welcome to part two of Stopping the Stutter. So you might wonder, part one, why did I do 60 frames per second and 200 frames per second, for instance, for showing power usage? If you have a high power computer, well, you may actually rank it down if your screen's only 60 hertz. And the reason why? Let's say if you have adaptive zinc or free zinc. What adaptive zinc and free zinc do is it stops image tearing, so your image is not well, torn apart and actually having the little artifacts. So your only choice is to limit your max frame rate. And when you have that V-Zinc, it's hitting that ceiling, knocking your frame rate down, stuttering, sent to 75 hertz. You have a 75 hertz monitor, like your 75 max frame rate. And if you still are hitting that, try one below that because highest frame rate is king and that's why we own a PC, right? To get that max frame rate. But there are many other reasons beyond this. Now let's get started. Now for those that don't know, G-Zinc, Adaptive Zinc, Free Zinc, they're all a form of Adaptive Zinc which helps you get a stable frame rate and of course, that's very important to have on, but you need that V-Zinc on. Let's say you're at 60 hertz and you have free zinc or G-Zinc or whatever the case is. And you're going beyond that. Again, you're going back to image tearing territory. So that is why we want to stay in that zone when possible, unless of course you don't have that option or you just want the highest frame rate possible. Now, let's go in the computer and see what other issues we have. There can be many different things causing you issues and causing you stuttering your games, like having way too many programs open right here. So we got all these game programs, Discord, Chat, Steam, all open here. And it could either be one of these programs causing an issue, a conflict, or just running too many apps all at the same time. So be careful about Oh, get total destroyer, this and that program. If you don't know what it is, it probably is not something good. Okay, so right now we have Discord open. Do we need it starting up with our computer? You can actually change it. This is not actually set to start with my computer, but you can actually go into your program settings and change them so they're not starting up your computer. You go to the cog settings and everything else, and you're going to find out where your setting is for starting up with the computer and you can change it so it doesn't. But when you have everything running through your computer, what's gonna happen, it's gonna take up all the RAM and they're also gonna run processes in the background, which means they're more likely to have stuttering, so close those programs if you're not using them. Let's say I wanna play a game on Steam. Well, why do I have Origin open and why do I have good old games Galaxy open? I can close that, I can close that. If I want to play my game on Steam, you, uh, for yourself or anyone else, just close the program and run what you need. You can always, like I said, change the settings. So let's say if I were in uh, Steam here, for instance, I go to settings. I can see here all through my settings and game. One of these menu is exactly what I need to do to find where I change it, if it's going to start with the computer or not. So where is that setting? Well, we got to find that out. So right here, interface, run Steam when computer starts. Uncheck the box, just like it is now. If it's checked, it means it's starting with a computer. Uncheck it, and then run Steam. Well, put a shortcut. You can find Steam in the side of your window right here. So if I go down, down to Steam, I click here. I right click. It's in the start right now, but I pin to start and have it down here and simply run it as I need it. That is the best way to run your computer. You're not running out of memory. You're not gonna have the issues and simply get rid of the program. In fact, last time I had stuttering, it was from overclocking my memory accidentally too fast. And that was only actually about a month ago. Um, just before I made part one, I actually did that by accident. And of course, external devices. You might have one that actually is not needing your computer and see, okay, does my computer run better without it running on the computer? and find out one step by one step, finding out, eliminating the problems and find out what that single program is or if I just have too much junk and not enough memory to compensate. Maybe you are an overclocker and don't realize your overclock is not so great. Another thing a lot of people don't realize 
is you have your max speed for memory and you think it's good, but it's not. Okay, let me give an example. You have an AMD 2000 series. Just an example here, your max speed to be stable is about 2933 or 2966 or so. And you're running at 3200. And of course, what's gonna happen is DDR4 tries to actually correct. It has some form of autocorrection built into it for errors. And every time it's hitting that error, you're getting that stutter, especially if you're pulling your timings tighter beyond where they should be. So keep that in mind. Let's say you overclock your monitor too high. Yes, that's possible. I took a 60 hertz monitor and put 75 hertz as well. And actually putting it higher caused the actual frames to actually sometimes skip. And therefore you get funny little stuttering, stuttering, like kind of mess happening. So overclocking is not your best friend and not your saving grace. However, we can get some gains out of that. I'll be having a video on that later. So in conclusion, stuttering could be happening because of conflict of programs or malware or issues that you might not realize with your hardware itself, your configuration, maybe have an error happening. And that's something else to find out. It could even be nothing more than a program that's actually causing um, pulling information from your computer. And as it pulls that information and tries to actually access your computer, it'd be causing you stuttering. I hope between video one and two, you found your solution. Sometimes the solution is simply because you overclocked or you need a newer BIOS and your memory is not being friendly with your computer. Of course, let's not forget, something that can happen very often, especially when switching between AMD and Nvidia or even Intel that's gonna be coming up for GPUs is driver issues. You might have been switching brands or you might have an old driver that's causing a conflict and of course the graphics card, that's a major cause of stutters when things don't go quite as they should. So don't forget to use a program such as DDU or at least do a full uninstall through software that doesn't help you, then try that DDU, which is a display driver uninstaller. I'll leave a link below in the description as well as to my other video I made previously. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. This is not BIOS Tech and Hardware.